Hi, my name is Pierre. I would like to talk about this P1 shuttle. This one, uh, as you can see, is being assembled. This shuttle is the reason why we started doing autonomous vehicle at the very beginning. The idea was to find a solution for crowded city centers with too much cars and not enough space for pedestrians. Really, in 2004, the reason why we started as a group of engineers to develop autonomy was to develop those type of shuttle to remove cars from city centers. The size of the shuttle first was defined to optimize both the service for passengers, but also the traffic. If you have a very long 70 seat bus, the last passenger at the back will take half a minute to go to the front and get out and the other people will. So the, the bus will stop for two minutes, at least in Paris, that was like that. And then at the end of the day, you would find three, four 70 seat buses all at the same intersection trying to cross. And that would generate traffic. So some studies have been made in Europe to find out the right shape. And the right shape is probably 10 to 14 people, not sitting but standing. That means that they don't have seat belt and so on. That means that the vehicle is low speed, but people can jump in and out very fast and you will have a shuttle coming every one or two minutes rather than waiting 20 minutes and being stuck in the traffic jam. It's a complete different idea of a city center. It's a city where you can walk to do everything, but sometimes you need to go further away and you will jump into one or two shuttles going into different routes. That would completely give the city back to the pedestrian, remove private cars that we don't use so much, eh? sometimes 5% of their lifetime, no more. That's a shared vehicle. It also probably would help you to walk, because if you know you can come back with a package or lift you have in a shuttle, you can walk to your destination. So that was a, really the full concept. That's why we started to develop autonomous vehicles. Later on, we went on industrial because we discovered that we could solve also some situation in the industrial parks. But the very start was this type of shuttle to move people inside the city or university campuses. And we tested all over the world. A few years ago, we went to Philippines for the Southeast Asian Games. It was a fantastic opportunity and a great experience to meet uh, Filipinos. And uh, we also had the opportunity to drive uh, in a typhoon. You know, with this type of technology, it's quite difficult to test on uh, every different bad weather. So we had snow in the past in Switzerland, in Indianapolis. We had a lot of rain in Florida, of course, uh, but we never had the opportunity to drive under category four typhoon. So when we saw the typhoon arriving, we immediately uh, jumped into the shuttle to test. It was a great experience. Usually we prefer to find uh, an existing uh, vehicle and convert it to autonomy, but we didn't find the right form factor and the right level of safety integrated for autonomy. I mean, we need redundant sensor, we need redundancy on everything at the vehicle control level or at the robotics. So we had to design and assemble our own shuttle. This type of shuttle can be used on a scheduled route, like a bus route, for example, for peak hours. And rest of the time, you can call it on demand with the smartphone application that we have, where you can find your destination and find the closest uh, shuttle to pick you up. 